welcome back to my channel here in this video i will be going ahead and talk to you guys a little bit i know i feel like it's very random i don't know where i'm starting with this video to the age but i just want to like talk a little bit more about me and my channel obviously i've been gone and i know i haven't posted a video i feel like i don't know i'm just i'm just a girl you know but i do want to talk about my past school experience here in this video as well which is why you see this here um this is my kit from whenever i went to go take my test to get a license you can probably pick it up in the back but i just want you guys to get to know me a little bit more i do want to start doing more content obviously um and bring you guys along really so i do want to show you guys my tips and tricks and you know i want to do like more tutorials do more nails i did my nails as you could see something something simple but like i said i do want to bring you guys along my journey and like i said i want to kind of want to get more into con content creating but i don't know i've been like on the border of like should i should i not um, i don't know like just nervous super super nervous obviously but i want to bring you guys along and do more um i feel like i've been stuck like in a bubble but like i said this is just random um and yeah i want to bring you guys along before i keep rambling but um also i do want to talk about like i said my channel so i'm really really excited because i do want to mention i did notice that um we are so close on hitting 14.4k um, here on my channel, which is so close to 14.5 um, and hitting 15 then, you know, so I'm really, really excited um, to see where my channel goes and all the effort that I am going to try to put this year and starting, you know, so um, I'm really, really excited and I do want to talk more about my school experience as well here in this video i've been doing nails for it will be five years next month which i'm really excited about and i have been doing youtube for technically i've been doing youtube for three years now um which is crazy because like i'm still doing youtube like i feel like i'd be getting into like little funks um i feel like everybody you know we're all human i guess but um yeah and it's so crazy a thing that i'm already doing youtube for like three years um but i do want to obviously keep going and just trying to be different you know and creating stuff and you know like that um so yeah i'm really excited so make sure to subscribe and make sure to turn on the bell so that way you guys do not miss a video which i'm really excited about i feel like i'm just rambling but i do want to talk about my school experience like i mentioned here in this video um so i have been doing nails for five years and which like i said will be next month um youtube i've been doing youtube for like three years um and then recently like about two years ago already which is crazy um i did um get my license which is crazy because so it's you know obviously we're already in 2024 which happy new year uh, i remember my last video i did um upload my uh 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 my christmas vlog my christmas week vlog which check that out if you guys haven't yet but I did post that and um, I posted that like sometime January, maybe like mid-January. I know I posted that kind of late because y'all, I was so burnt out from whole December. I feel like I was also busy um, like mid beginnings of January. So, you know, more burnt out. I'm just like super tired and I'm like, I'm so yeah, I don't know if i want to keep doing nails which is why i'm like i want to start doing more content creating and stuff like that 
so i have been licensed for now two years because this year i will be renewing my license so beginning of 2022 i got into school to get my license I went to school for like about four months so I started in I enrolled in January started school on Valentine's Day and then um, from there I finished like mm, late June I want to say and then from there I took my test say like mid July or in August sometime August July I can't remember um and i didn't even look at any of the facts to be age i'm just kind of going along what's in my brain so you know just kind of pull that out there but do that and i got my license in i want to say like in paper i got it in like sometime in september like it's you know it's a process so I took my test sometime june i want to say like june for my writing and then my practical not until like probably like sometime in july or august because then by then i had already passed or you know gotten my license so um i feel like to me it was kind of quick um if you guys know obviously i did share like um i believe like my first or first day in school i did vlog a little bit which now looking back it's like i like to be honest like i haven't even watched the video like back and that's one thing about me like me doing youtube to me it's just kind of fun um and i feel like that's the thing like i get into these funks where like i love doing it and then like i get cr at some point like i'm over it and i get cringed out like at myself which i might i know might sound weird but it's just like weird i don't know um i'm in just this funk i don't know like i said so i just want to share because i feel like like randomly the other day i went live on tiktok and like everybody was like well, you know where have you been you know like why haven't you been posting and i'm just like oh you know like i gotta like you know keep going and not like let these funks like get to me you know but I went to school, got my license, and I've been licensed for now, like I said, two years. And every two years, you, I believe you got to renew your license. I believe it is every two years, at least here in the state of Texas, which I do want to mention that because I am in Texas. Um, every state is different. So if you're watching from somewhere else, um, make sure you follow your state's regulations and, you know, all that. But I do want to talk about my school experience because... I feel like overall it was okay um from what i've heard at least like that's just kind of how it is um some schools don't really teach you what you're supposed to be taught what um not even just like basic application prep basic knowledge structure theory of the now you know so i feel like you kind of just have to like work your brain and learn everything you know obviously so if you want to like learn and actually learn about nails you have to like work your brain read you know watch videos pay for tutorials watch tutorials for free online you know so i went to school you know obviously before that i did already know about nails i knew how to pick up a bead you know i knew how to do nail art you know all that um, I did know somewhat theory of it, but not too much up until I got into school. I will say I did learn about, um, you know, obviously no diseases on my own by reading books, obviously, about it um, based on regulations from the state. So that's why I mentioned, you know, make sure you guys know about um, your state's, your own state's regulations. So whenever I did go test, I did go take... Um, for my practical, I did take this kit, which contains everything that you need to take for state board. I feel like another reason why I didn't do this video sooner was because I didn't really know like too, too, too much about like, um, obviously like the regulations and the rules and all that up until I got into school. And then, you know, obviously they tell you that you need to know the regulations working in a, whether you work in a salon, suite, whatever, to know what you need to do and, you know, whatever. So this is the kit that i took which i do want to show you guys with my kit it's super dusty because honestly i have not touched it since um i went to go test and i feel like i should just empty it out i mean 
I don't know why I keep hoarding onto it. And that's another thing about me. I hoard onto stuff. Um, not just like, I don't want to just say like stuff, but like, you know, personal stuff, obviously. But whatever, you guys get what I'm saying. Hopefully. So this is like a, um, I believe this is called like a file divider container. Um, I did buy everything on my own. So I do want to mention. Um, I feel like I have, for the most part, stated what school I did um, attend and go to. So I went to that school. Um, my tuition was $3,550. So um, that's what I paid to go to that school. Um, you do have to do, here in the state of Texas, 600 hours. So that's what I completed and I did. Obviously, you know, a pass. Um, your written exam and practical exam so um, for state board so that's what you have to do to get a license here in Texas and apart from that obviously I did already tell you guys I did already know how to do nails prior to going to school so in school mainly I would go girl I would go early like as soon as they open and then sometimes up until they close because I was just trying to get in and out girl like and that's just me being honest as hell um, I will say I did meet some wonderful, wonderful, nice ladies there. Um, shout out to them if you're watching this. But yeah, I did make some nice memories. But um, overall, that's what you have to do to complete it. So I did do that. And then um, you do have to pay. I can't remember exactly how much you have to pay to take the written or actually no i'm wrong the written one for me was free because um in my tuition like it goes towards it you know what i mean um same thing for all the um supplies and all that that i got i believe i showed um i can't remember like i said because i didn't go back and watch any of my videos or anything but i got obviously a kit um book so yeah, I did um, buy all this myself or stuff that I already had, basically stuff that you already have in your kit. So um, that's what we have here. And then the file divider, I did get it at Walmart. And then up here, it does have like a compartment to put more stuff on top. So on top, I did put a bunch of extra stuff that I honestly um, never used for the test because everything that you mainly use is inside. So that's what this is this is just um extra stuff in case like you drop something or you forgot something whatever to, you know you already put in your kit and you like practice and you forgot to put it in you know so this is just a bunch of extra stuff so as you can see this one is like black and obviously the top is clear and then the ones from my school from where i was at um if you wanted to go test with those to rent those out if i'm not wrong i want to say it was literally if i'm not wrong i want to say to rent those out it was probably like 500 bucks if i'm not wrong like i honestly don't remember right now from the top of my head but if i'm not wrong if i'm if it wasn't 500 i want to say it was like at least 100 no lower than that i honestly i don't remember but it was pretty pricey um i don't know in other schools i know it is expensive obviously but you know obviously it's cheap product to be honest that they put in the goods and you know put them together for them to rent out or give out i don't know if other schools like let you keep them or you know whatever but the kit that you rented for my school if um you rented when you had to bring it back the next day um with everything in it um and I think that, yeah, and I think that's how they did to it. I don't, like I said, I don't quite remember. Um, but yeah, the girl made her own with their stuff too, let me say. But on top, I honestly just have gloves. I have cotton balls, which I'm going to take everything out. The cotton ball just fell. I have gloves, cotton balls, um, alcohol prep pads. Um, these are the ones that I use. Um, you could obviously use any brand, I believe. 
these are the ones that i use i believe these were theirs too or if not i think i bought these i don't remember but also some mini buffers some um files i forgot that i had these in here i could have totally been used these like all this stuff i could have been used all this stuff uh -huh, a band-aid that's everything that i had to talk this is what the inside look like um i will say i don't oh no it is oh my god you see i have not touched this girl this is a hand that i practice on for state board this is what she is looking like think, look at her <laughs> that is crazy i need to do some nails on her so we have her here i also have white oh my god this is my mean secret towel use my code to save money um i need to get a new one because girl she is dirty the house um i have another white towel oh my god you guys can probably see all the dust another white towel i'm pretty sure i spilled like acrylic there or something um and then onto the bags wow i literally have everything in here like crazy um so to test for my written i believe i took like probably like an hour yeah probably like an hour taking my test or so or probably like an hour and a half actually start and then you know finish um because whenever i got there people were already in there testing so i don't know if people got like different um testing times but i don't remember what time i went i want to say i vlogged for that too but i yeah i think i did vlog for that which check out my channel if you are new make sure to check out all of my other videos if you guys like i said if you guys want to see what i have been doing and you know how i got here but I my test my written test and then for practical i want to say that took like about an hour two honestly because everybody finishes at different times um i i wasn't the first one to finish but you do have to wait for everybody to finish and then they give you um your results so yeah and then from there from how they did it they went by last name so my last name starts with the S, so I'm, you know, I was, like, at the very end, I was one of the last ones, but thankfully your girl passed, so. Here in this first one, this is the used implements, so these are all the used implements that I had, and oh my god, I can't believe I still have implements in here because I could have been used all this stuff, oh my god. Now looking, now looking back, I'm like, why have I waited this long to do a video? Um, but anyway, I have a whole bottle of hand sanitizer, which... Look, now I have more product, but I have hand sanitizer. You need cuticle softener um, in these bottles. I bought like at the dollar store. Um, this is um, EPA to clean. You know, you know. Soapy water. I want to put the lid for the EPA. EPA. The off. And then this is. The trash bag, as you can see, trash stuff. Um, this is the nail tip service. This is the blood exposure incident service. This is the nail enhancement with form service, um, which I still have. Um, orderless. I might do a review on that. Um, manicure service, which comment down below if you guys want to see me review the the orderless um this orderless kit that i bought to um do my test and then the biohazard bag and then obviously there's this um basket in there there's also this big binder clip um that you use to hold the bags on the table and then our bottle of alcohol and then in here i have another alcohol prep pad as you can see in the basket so just to show you guys really really quick what's in each bag this is the manicure service bag so in there you would have your manicure bowl to give your um client a 
manicure. Um, I have a brush. I have a, a tip cutter, a cuticle nipper, no clippers, tweezers, and a brush. Um, and obviously all your metal products have to be in the used implement bag. This is the no form service. So you would obviously have monomer, polymer, your prep system. This is your tapping dish. Um, I did take out my brush. So at least I took that out. Um, the brush that I would use, I, I believe, to test. I don't, honestly, I don't remember what brush I used. But I believe I vlogged everything. So check it out. Um, this is my nail tip service. So I just have like a bag of nail tips and a glue. My blood exposure has um, a liquid septic, alcohol prep pad, and then this one, the biohazard has um, gloves, obviously the band-aid, alcohol pad, a wooden cotton stick, um, gauze. This is the trash bag, so obviously your um, sterilized bag of implements, and then like obviously the buffers, file, cuticle pushers, there's like the nail form that i used um still in here the dirty napkins um the trash of nail tip like there's literally a nail tip there um yeah just pretty much it of everything that was in my um kit to go test so what do you guys think should i keep this stuff is it weird if i keep it am i being a hoarder but um, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna like use up some of the stuff that I could still use up, like the, the buffers and you know, like the bottles and stuff. I have a new hand sanitizer, so happy about that. I'm definitely gonna do some nails on this. I don't know what yet, but I definitely want to do some nail art on this hand. I'm probably gonna clean her up and somehow put nails on again. But now that I notice, look at the nail. It's yellow, and that's because of the orderless system so you know i can't wink but you know and i do want to mention um also for school just really quick i just want to say overall it was good i feel like staff and management wasn't all that um nothing was really organized we wouldn't have like plans to do stuff every day to be honest every day i would just kind of do my own thing like i said i would get there early and um practice i would try to practice and just watch netflix y'all like i would just watch shows i would watch youtube whatever i could find to watch i would watch while i practiced um i still actually because i was just cleaning and i don't remember where it is but i have this bag right here i have this bag this is stuff that i practiced whenever i was in school um, there's like a whole bunch of random stuff in here, like random persons too that I practice with. This is not everything, but these are some of my creations while I was in school. Um, uh, while I was also in school, I did take some clients. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of on the low. Like I said, management wasn't all that, so like some people were strict and some weren't, but. I did take some clients in there, although I'm not even going to lie. Some of my clients that did get service there didn't want to get service there anymore. And they were honest with me and I see why. Like, like even like people were there. Like, some people were like weird. And it's just kind of like um, school is just kind of like high school again. There's like drama and you know this and that. We don't like people, whatever. But I just want to say, <laughs> um, at the end of the day, I would just go... Um, whether I would practice or I would take clients sometimes like honestly sometimes I wouldn't even take none of my stuff Sometimes I would just go I would probably take my book and a pencil just to pretend like I was writing or reading whatever But I would just go and like watch shows like like I said like some people didn't even take it serious Some people just went just to go and you know just went which is cool and all too But overall I kind of just went to get my license So you know if you want to be in the space I would say just get it this is your sign to get your license and if I could do it, you could do it, whatever. Um, I have been already, like I said, doing nails for five years now, next month, so I'm excited about that. But I do want to start teaching, which is another reason why I kind of wanted to bring up this video. Because while I was in school, I was also somewhat teaching. 
um it wasn't like all that but because like, like i said management was like it was just weird like i don't know how to describe it but or you know i, don't, I just don't want to get too into detail but um if you guys like watch my lives and stuff you know but like i said make sure to follow me on tiktok instagram links are down below but anywho it just wasn't all that but i was um teaching there for like about a month after i finished my hours uh i was there for like about a month um I, but i feel like overall too like i didn't take it serious like my like i did take it serious but then i didn't because at some point like i just stopped going but I had my reasons of, but then they kind of just told me to not go. So I was just like, okay, well, they don't need me, you know, whatever. Uh, but either way, even now, like, from what I see, I don't think um, they, I think it's the same. I honestly don't know, but this is everything that I um, provided myself for my kit. Um, but like I said, I feel like overall, whether whatever school you go to, you could get through it, you could finish it, because I will say, based from what I've seen in my school too, like, being, like, so for real with y'all right now, some girls from when, from when I went to school still haven't gotten their, um, license from school. So it's just kind of like, you know, like, why haven't you gotten your license? You know, like, y'all could do it too. You know, just goes out to say, you know, if you're, pa if you're actually passionate, passionate, about it you could do it and you could get your license because i feel like you should get it you know um whether i don't know whether you just kind of want to do press-ons or actually want to work with people and stuff i don't know um just do it f it just you know get into it but i definitely want to start putting on more content and i just i don't know like like i said i'm still kind of in this funk let's see when i post this video you guys will see but also, I do want to mention, check out the shirt. It says, Educator Nail Tech, danger, so watch out. Um, make sure you guys know what you're doing um, and are confident about it. And actually, like, state facts, you know what I mean? Like, if you're, I'd say, I've been seeing some girls on TikTok just, like, spreading lies about um you know products and how to do certain stuff and mix this and that i don't know i don't want to get into it like i said but you know just get your license fill your mind with facts and yeah i just kind of want to like not put myself out there but you know um share a little bit more but um i definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment down below what you guys thought i feel like i Definitely make sure, comment down below because I know I talked a lot. But I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. And um, definitely make sure to comment also down below um, what other kind of videos you guys want to see from me. And also, like I mentioned, yeah, check out the shirt. Um, I will make sure to link it down below so that way you guys can go shop and get your own. And also, I do have a code. So make sure to save your money. Um, because you could definitely customize it. This one looks like this from the back, as you can see. Hopefully, you guys can see. So cute. Um, so make sure to follow me here and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Um, I know the logo is an Instagram logo, but you could customize it with Chloe. Also, make shirts from Glam Glitty. So check that out. Um, I can't wait to put out the videos, so I'm really, really excited. Make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe. And also, like I mentioned, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below what other kinds of videos you guys want to see from me, as well as any other topics you guys want me to talk about, because that's another reason why I kind of wanted to bring this video up. But I've been thinking, blah, 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 blah. I've been kind of thinking about making a podcast because I feel like I could definitely ramble, but I don't know if it's like. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but make sure to comment down below if you guys would want to hear because I do have some ideas for that, but um, make sure to comment down below what you guys want to see in the future as well as make sure to also check down below in the description for any of my latest videos in the past from last year. 
which I will be making, like I said, I will be make, try to make more content. Do not forget to check out any of my other social media on Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. Do not forget to check out any of my past videos as well as do not forget to check out any of the brands that I work with and I do make a commission from. Um, make sure to check them out and support them as well, like Chloe, because I love this shirt. If you guys are some educated bodies too, make sure to go ahead and go copy one because I love mine. I have this one with my YouTube at, and then I have my, I have another one, like literally the same one, but with my Instagram at. So shout out to Chloe, but make sure to go copy one and use my code to save some money, which I will make sure to link down below as well as um, any of the other products that I mentioned. Make sure to comment down below if you guys want me to link anything. Um, I feel like other than like the divider, I don't know what else you guys would want me to link that you guys would want to get your hands on. But make sure to comment down below your thoughts and opinions. I definitely want to hear you out. And I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. No, babes. Hey.